All right, this is the morning routine for Taz. He needs to be in a seated position before we let him out of the crate. If you hear other dogs whining, that's not him, but it could lead to him if you don't keep using the crate. You guys gotta use the crate. Not just for night, but daytime too. So he waits nicely there. I can reach in and put on the training collar. He's really polite about it. Put the leash to it. When he looks at me, he knows to look at me. Nope. So see how I said nope and walk toward him? I use the marker word nope. If he sticks his head out any more than that, I just do that. He needs to understand this boundary. So a little of that goes a long way. He'll look at me. Let's go. And I say, let's go. Then we do the same thing at the door. Sit. Good. So he sits at the door as I open it. Nope. Good. He waits. Let's go. And we let go. We let's go. I'm out to here. Then heel. We walk him. He usually likes this side. Sorry. Heel. He's in a heel. Going out to the potty spot. Right side. That's where he seems to have gone to. Every few steps we say sit. Good. And he sits. Heel. He hasn't peed. You know, he can go 11 hours, 12 hours he has over the weekend in the crate. Um, I, I do take the water away at night. Sit. Good boy. Heel. Sit. If he needs help, I use the leash. Heel. Nope. Sit. Good. Like that time he didn't use the leash. Heel. Sit. Good. Then I get in front of him a little bit. He looks at me. Nope. Break. And he can go potty and say, go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Good boy. And as soon as he goes, say good. Then I do the same thing back in, but I'm going to first take him for a little poop walk. But then I do a heel sit all the way back into the kennel, and then I'll show you what I do for his feeding. I think, like, this is more of a poop walk. He's, oh, now he's not. If his nose is down and he's moving forward, he's thinking about pooping. If he's just head up, not really thinking about it, he's not thinking about it. And he kind of likes the grassy, tall, grassy stuff. And this is where he's been pooping in the zone. So I know where he goes. After four days, I can tell where he's going to go poo. This is kind of his zone right in here. Nose down, sniff, 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 sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. He just sniffed an old poop. He All of a sudden, he heard my husband up at the house and he got distracted. He often will get distracted. There he's gonna poo. So I can tell when he's gonna poo. Good boy, good boy. So if he weren't gonna poo right there, um, or not, you don't need to see the pooping itself. If he wasn't gonna poop right there, we would have just said, let's go. And I would have gave him a little tug on the leash and the training collar. So when he's done with that, I put him back in the heel. Come, good boy. Heel, and I put him back in his heel on the right side. And I do some heel sits all the way back in the house. So these heel to sit, Every morning is huge. Heel for this guy. Nope. When he looks down, I say nope, nope. Or sniffs down. Sit. Good. Heel. This five minutes of heel and sit every single morning and every single evening has, nope, has done a lot for this guy. If you need to check the heel, you would, like right here, a little tug, bring him back. And maybe do one loop like that. See how he follows? Good. So if he gets ahead or gets distracted, you pivot turn and you tug. Just a slight bit when he gets to the end of the leash because you're moving the other way now. He's gonna turn and then you turn back and he knows what to do. Sit. Good. Heel. And as I was saying, this five minutes twice a day has really created a very very compliant knows what to do dog don't miss these morning and after and evening opportunities for first party first potty and last potty of the day 
Okay, so going back in, sit. Good. He knows to wait. Door is opening. Nope, sit. So a lot of noping. Nope. Right there. Leash pressure afterwards. He looks at me. I can wiggle a little bit. But the word is, let's go. And then, crate. And he goes in. And he sits and he waits. And he wants water. So I'm going to give him his water back. Because that's what he really wants right now. Sorry, you have to listen to the other dog's whine. But again, make sure you're doing this with your dog every day in the crate a couple times a day so he knows how to be in the crate without being such a whiner we don't want we don't want whining he's young enough to figure this out make sure you crate him during the day and if you're just watching this as a puppy video he's he's not even six months old you need to be creating your dog you've heard me say it not just nighttime but in the day with the kennel door closed he needs to learn that. I'm leaving that training collar on because we're about to work with him to do um, some food training. So let me show you that. I'm going to measure his food out. You can watch him and me. I'm going to take this bowl here and measure his allotment for the day, which is about three cups total. That's his allotment for the day, and he's going to have that for his training for the day. Okay, so I take some of it and I put it in a training bag, a treat bag. And I'm going to it because this is what he's going to look for today. He also gets treats during the day. So I'm going to put most of it in here. Oops. Nope. Sorry. I'm going to put most of it in here. But then I'm going to feed him a little bit right now. So you can see when if you were feeding the dog. So most of it's in the treat bag for later. I'm just going to set it over here. And if we were feeding him, you know, one or two meals a week out of 14 meals, you could do this. Well, he's coming to you right now. And for those that are just watching for puppy videos, like this guy's coming back in about two weeks for the rest of his board and training to do off-leash stuff. Come, good boy. Come, sit, good. He doesn't get to go in until I let him go in, and he's got to look at me. Good. Okay, and he can go back in and eat. Now, the remainder of the food, we're going to train doing um, active training sessions. What we just did is more of a passive training session. Actually, no, we did some active stuff outside. Anyway, so hopefully that's helpful for you to know what to do with him twice a day at least. Um, if he weren't eating the food right now, we would just, maybe I'd go to the bathroom or do something for myself for five or 10 minutes. And then I would come back and start working, which you're gonna be doing that. And you've seen me do it with other dogs and you've seen me do it with him, working like a place to place session, place to place. And then maybe another heel session outside and then maybe working down on the place cot. Five, 10 minutes each command. And, what's, and he's going to do that working for this kibble in this bag. Not all of it, just part of it, because that's the daily allotment. All right. You know what to do. Bye.